Former Test cricketer Adam Gilchrist has joined AFL legend Michael Long for speedy recognition of Australia's first people. They say constitutional recognition of Indigenous Australians is long overdue and it's now time for the nation to come together to right the wrongs of the past. Gilchrist has called on the Prime Minister and the Attorney General to make a decision and to announce it swiftly. He spoke to Sky News Indigenous Affairs reporter Dan Borsha, who joins us now from National Reconciliation Week celebrations in Melbourne, not too far away from where we are, of course, at the moment, the Sydney Meyer Music Bowl. A unified Aaron, message from a couple well, of our sporting heroes. that's National Reconciliation heroes. Week as well underway. And we saw just a few moments ago Adam Gilchrist, the cricketing legend, announced his support for the recognised campaign to recognise first Australians, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in the Australian Constitution. Now, this has been this is a very significant announcement, particularly as it comes in this week. Here's a little of what he had to say. Believe, and I, I want to enhance that uh, non-Indigenous people are really starting to take notice of that, and as, as a result of something like delivering a letter to to the Prime Minister. Um, so, you know, to acknowledge that, to be a part of it, and to, to help address these issues um, is, is something I'm really thrilled to be able to do, along with um, the the recognition or the recognise campaign about uh, the Constitution. Adam Gilchrist there speaking just a few minutes ago. He was joined by Michael Long, the Essendon legend, who started the long walk back 10 years ago to deliver a letter to the then Prime Minister about the situation for first Australians. Of course, it's the other big issue that's been debated throughout the last couple of months, and particularly this week, has been the proposed changes to the Racial Discrimination Act, the proposal, in fact, to remove aspects which would make vilification, uh, change vilification from being illegal, that's something that both athletes weighed into today, saying that it wouldn't do any good and that it's time that, that the government walks away from it. And we've also heard today from the Federal Indigenous Affairs Minister, Nigel Scullion, saying, responding for the first time to the comments made yesterday on Sky News by Warren Mundine, the Prime Minister's adviser on Indigenous Affairs. Here's what Senator Scullion said a short while ago. It's terrific if uh, Warren's been able to negotiate uh, some particular outcome, but I suspect the Cabinet in any event will look very closely at uh, the community's views on this matter and, as always, uh, genuinely reflect those views. What I would welcome um, is, is an end to the speculation. I, I think we need to make a decision on this. Uh, uh, I'm, as I've said before, I see it as a bit of a distraction. Whatever the decision that the government uh, makes, I think that we should make it fairly swiftly. Uh, so from my perspective, we can have another focus on the future. Aaron, the Indigenous Affairs Minister Nigel Scullion speaking a short time ago on Sky News about where he thinks the way forward is on that very controversial proposal around the Racial Discrimination Act. As I said, a big issue as part of National Reconciliation Week. The week is really coming to an end. It's a week there where the country stops and pauses to celebrate the successes of Indigenous Australia while looking back at some of the turmoil over the, the decades that have preceded us. But it's also an opportunity to look to the future. Today we're seeing here in Melbourne, a concert, a well-being concert, which will be will head up uh, a walk to the Dreamtime at the G later in the evening, which is really the curtain raiser event for the Indigenous round of the football. And while there's been so much attention on that particular game, it is important to note, Aaron, that there are games happening right across the country and, and right across our nation this week. There's been a focus on Indigenous affairs. I spoke uh, to a friend just a few minutes ago who said at a little league game this uh, this morning in Sydney there was a welcome to country where the uh, first people were acknowledged, but also the work of the AFL. And we've seen a focus on Adam Gilchrist uh, today, but also Adam Goods, the Australian of the Year and Sydney Swans uh, lead goal kicker. So an important week, and we're going to see these celebrations continue right throughout the afternoon. I'll bring you the very latest here on Sky News, Aaron.